What is up my nerdling friends, Banning13 here, welcome back and today we are doing the Firebird Finery Set Dungeon and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, how to prepare for it. Now right off the bat I'm going to show you some quick tips on what we need to do before we even go to this set dungeon. Number one, this Traveler's Pledge which we'll usually have equipped here in our amulet socket, we're going to take it out. Out! It needs to come out. Now reason being it'll stop us from getting that damage buff as well as elim eliminating all the stats that are part of the amulet. Now we need to decrease our damage for the set dungeon otherwise we can't achieve one of our objectives which is to set 20 enemies to burn six times in a row. All right, If we kill them too quickly they're not going to burn and we're going to fail. So we're going to, I'll get more into that once we get to the set dungeon portal and the objectives come up. The other thing we need to, and that's all we need to do for gear, all right? Gear is done. We just take out the amulet and we're, we're going to kill it. This is going to be all right. We'll go on over to skills now. We're going to be using Disintegrate with Convergence as always, our primary damage dealer. Black Hole with Blazer. Diamond Skin, Sleek Shell for some uh, movement increase. Move around that dungeon a bit quicker. Teleport with Wormhole so we can teleport twice in a row. This again adds to our mobility and adds a bit of speed to this set dungeon, which we, it is a time limit set dungeon, obviously. So we're gonna do it quickly. Magic weapon with force weapon, ice armor with crystallize and passive stay the same. Uh, the other important thing we need to know is make sure that we dismiss our follower. Do not have your follower there and do not activate your armor or your magic weapon either at all. All right, make sure you do not activate them. As you can see, force, weapon is activated at the moment we're going to deactivate it right now so make sure that you don't have anything activated all right nothing's activated here we're good to go now the reason we don't want to activate anything is because of the other objective which is hit 50 enemies with your meteor revive all right so this can be a bit tricky but we should get it done in the first go if we get a good spawn if not within two goes we'll easily do this but do not have any armor or damage increases activated all right so that's it for preparation we're good to go let's go to act two archives of zoltan ghoul and we just head down head on all the way down until we come up to the desolate sands here enter the desolate sands and then head down again and you can see on the mini map the set dungeon is just right there this is where it'll pop up all right so just double check everything's deactivated we haven't got um, armor we haven't got force weapon great let's have a look at our objectives now set 20 enemies on fire within three seconds six times so i'll show you how to do this it can be a bit tricky if you're doing too much damage but we've taken out out our amulet so we'll be fine i guarantee you and the other one is hit 50 different enemies with the meteor that revives you this is easy just go around um, gather some mobs wait till they attack you die or well you'll nearly die you'll be revived and the meteor will hit them all all right usually i can get this in one go if not two maximum all right so that's all pretty pretty self-explanatory the, the rest is just easy so let's do this you ready all and once we are in, we head on over. All right, this is an awesome start, ladies and gentlemen. Look at them all. We're going to get our meteor objective straight away. I need healing. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, what a start. That is the dream start. So we've got our meteor achievement. And now I'll show you what we do. We just burn down the enemies and make sure that we target that set 20 enemies on fire set 20 enemies to burn now this is going to be easy all right here we go here's another good pack yeah. so it's just like that and this actually goes hand in hand with blazer and with blazer you definitely want to use blazer for your elite mobs definitely want to use it for your elite mobs because we're, we've uh, minimized our damage, they can be a bit of a pain in the ass. They can slow us down, so always black hole their asses. 
And we just gather them like this. Burn them. Look at that. It's 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 gonna work every time. And then whenever we can, just cast that uh, activate black hole blazer against the bigger enemies. These little porcupines here, they're they're nothing. They're what you want to target for your objectives for setting enemies to burn. Here we go. Come on, porcupines. There we go. Sweet. Look at that. We're done. We are done. How easy is this? No gear requirements. In fact, we had to take out some gear. We were too geared for this. We don't have to add anything special. Not ready yet. Shush you, not ready. And obviously now we activate all our armors. We activate force weapon because we just need to finish the dungeon on time. That is what we need to do now. So, like I said, these elite mobs, make sure you cast Blazer. Wormhole blazer, wormhole, sorry, black hole. And that'll give you a bit of a damage boost and just keep on moving. Obviously, the other important thing now is we cannot miss any enemies. That's the most annoying thing. You get, you unlock the entire map, you've been everywhere, and there's enemies missing. So concentrate, make sure we kill them all. Ooh, these guys are tough. We're gonna black hole their asses. Take no prisoners. All right, we're going good. We're going good right now. We've got our objectives done. We've just got to make it on time now. The timer is pretty intense. It'll be pretty close. So we can't take our time per se, but we need to make sure that we cover every inch of this map. That's why we've got our skin and also our teleport with wormhole so we can teleport twice. When possible anyway. Oh, 40 seconds. Come on, please. I guess the only bad part is when you minimize your damage is it, everything dies slower. But it's necessary. It is necessary to get those objectives. Because these porcupines just die too easy otherwise. I just want to backtrack every now and then make sure we haven't missed anything. <laughs> it's happened before. I'm sure you all know the feeling. Oh, come on, there's only seconds to go. Ah, ah yes. Alright, so that's how we do it. Firebird Finery at its best. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for tuning in, boys and girls. Make sure you come back. Stay tuned to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and a comment. See you all again real soon.